guys, today I've done it. Today I've become the one thing I swore to destroy. One-eyed mask titan. Last word. Mindbender's ambition. Slide shot, quick draw, rifle barrel, accurized rounds. Play the game. Using sentinel shield, I'm going to switch to sunbreaker. <clears throat> I just haven't been doing too hot with sentinel shield, so we're going to top tree hammers and today we're gonna wreck face I got a 3 KD one game not too long ago and but ever since then I've really been doing trash my I've left a bunch of people on like two health and uh, yeah and it really I just I couldn't stand it I left the game because I just yeah and then they it's like for some reason all of them it was just I would leave him on on one shot and then die so I'm retrying this trying to bring out guys a good gameplay instead of bringing out guys one where I just die over and over because their team are all just sitting in the back of the map now I know normally comebacks like that are what makes a a game like this fun but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my cheat button so what I'm going to do is, if things get too bad, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to bring out, uh, whatever this thing's called. I'm going to bring out this dreaded thing by the Fox Snapshot Opening Shot. I've done a video on it before. So if things, gets, if things get too bad, I'm going to pull out that and switch to the bow or the scout rifle. Probably the scout rifle because this scout rifle is pretty cool. And let me put this on a quick swap. Um, and also, probably later, I'll be using Malfeasance in a video or two because of, I just got it. I was doing the quest and I was using Crooked Fang. This one isn't even a good roll. Ranger Finder Threat Detector. Not very good, but... It was decent for what I was trying to do. Um, so, but yeah, today's not about that. Today is about this. And to be completely honest, I'm not saying that this needs a nerf. It really doesn't, compared to some of the other exotics like uh, Gwiz and Vest and uh, whatever that other one is called on the Warlock. The ones that basically give you infinite supers, yeah, those are nothing compared to this. Or right, those are that's like everything compared to this, because see, for me at least this is what I think. The Titan does not have very good subclasses. Like I've tried this build on top tree Sunbreaker, middle tree Sentinel, and middle tree Striker. I have found the least success with middle tree Striker. And I have found the most success with Middle Tree Sentinel or Top Tree Sunbreaker. And whilst I don't really feel like trying out any of this other stuff, like this I could see me using. And maybe this. I think I would probably use this. Like actually, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Bottom Tree Sentinel. Now I've not used Bottom Tree Sentinel in a long time, so I might switch to Top Tree, but... Let me see, grenade kills, charge your grenade ability, kills while surrounded by enemies, reduce the cooldown of your super, and it shows the charge watch. Yeah, I'll use this, so I get, I basically get a shoulder charge, so basically I can be even more scummy. But yeah. Uh, I finally got the, the whisper catalyst. I'm trying to just, I'm trying to just find more stuff to talk about. But I finally got the Whisper Catalyst. I, I know I talked about that not too long ago. But, um, but yeah, again, today, it's about this. This piece of garbage. And this not-so-piece of garbage. But sometimes it is really annoying to use. Because somehow... Really? I sat here for 20 minutes trying to find a match while explaining this build, and then it kicks me to orbit. Really?
Really, that's what you're going to do to me. Wow. That is just remarkable. That is just remarkable. Okay, let's try this again. So, this one, this right here, I sometimes can't stand it. Because what it will do is if you hit them for one body shot and two headshots, that leaves them still with one hit left. That leaves them with one one extra bullet hit, right? Which gives a Not Forgotten or a Luna's Hell enough time to hit you three times with that gun by the time that you can hit them four times with this gun. So, because I'm going to go to my calculator here because I don't have the mental mouth to do that. But let's see. If it, if round sprint is, two, is 225, then 225 divided by 60, that means it's about 3.75 shots per second. Now, so that means it takes over a second. Now, most things have a TTK of 0 0.8, 0 0.5, stuff like that. So that means if you do not hit a body shot, if that means if you do not hit a body shot, you can achieve that. But if you do, your kill time is over a second. Now, 180 divided by 60 is 3. So in the time that it takes them to, for you to hit 4 shots, they've already hit 3. Giving the 180 enough time to kill you if you don't hit all headshots. Now that's considering that they do hit all headshots. Because 180s also take four shots which means that it would take another one point that means it would take 1.3 1 1.33 ongoing for them to hit four shots while it takes you one point like 1.2 ish 1.1 ish seconds to hit four shots so it really depends but then let's say you hit all bodies well a body if I'm if I remember correctly hits about 45 so that means most guardians have about 190. Uh, so 190 divided by 45. That means it, it takes four body shots. Well, technically five because it's 4.2222222 repeating. So technically that means it takes five body shots. Now 225 divided by uh, 60. So there's the per second. I'll divide that move. All right. Actually, no. Never mind. That's an awful way to do it. Never mind. That's where I'm going to leave it, though. That's where I'm going to leave your thinking. Because I know some people get really mad at me for... Some IRL friends get really mad at me for how much how I talk too much in these videos. Not necessarily talk too much, but I do like too much math and stuff like that. Uh, control? I hate control. At least on this map, because it's basically Farm City on this map. It's whoever gets B first. Okay, since no one's going B, I'm going to go B. I know there's a guy there. There we go, do that. Yep, double teamed. From a scout rifle across the map. That's That was to be expected. Because that's what happens every game. But see, now this is what's going to happen. They're going to get B, right? That guy's going around. Hit him for 72. There we go. Calculated trajectory. That should have been a calculated trajectory metal. Whatever. 
Gosh dang it, man. I'm still trying to get those for the mountaintop, but it's it's whatever. Get out of here. I know this build is really scummy, but it's scummy so that people can see how bad. Just look at this. Okay, the fact that my melee whiffed and then my last word took 20 seconds to pull out is nuts, man. Because it's supposed to be like a fast fire weapon. Oh, I just thought of a challenge that I sh should totally do, but I'm not going to talk about it right now because I'm probably going to do it. Like, I'll do it tomorrow or something. Yep, traded. That's what happens a lot of times because everybody has started using the last word. So I can't tell you how many times I trade with people. But, but yeah, I can't tell you how many times I trade with people. There we go, got them. I'm so bad. I don't know how I miss the easiest shotgun shots like that. It makes no sense. I'm sorry if the volume just got really weird. But I was, I was adjusting my mic. Yeah, you want to get close? Oh, crap. I, I so hit that. I so hit that. But whatever. This game's never liked me anyway. But I totally have an idea that I should totally do later, and I'm totally going to do it. See, there's the, there's the time to kill if you can get all crits. I'm telling you it's nuts. It's just the amount of times that I get all crits... Of course, here we go. Let me just let my shoulder charge just stop right in front of them. And I hate that too. That's why I don't use shoulder charge very much because that's what happens like every time I use it. It's basically here. I'm going to look like I'm going to hit the guy. How is he hitting me from all the way over here? Okay, that's a blade barrage. That's totally going to kill him. That didn't kill him. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Okay. Basically, what I have. Uh, actually, he just used his super. He just casted a golden gun. I'm just gonna run away. Try to bait his teammate out with a suppressor. So, basically, once he gets too close, I'm gonna hit a suppressor on him. He must be out by now. Okay, put this here. Uh, I should have put it the other side since there's red coming from there. I'm an idiot. There's a guy over there, and I know, but I have to just let him have it. Uh, the fact that 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 trip mine was placed where it was actually is mind boggling but <clears throat> I'm trying the best I can to use this loadout please don't make fun of me because I know it's like a scumbag tryout uh tryout loadout it's like everybody should be able to use it with no skill required wow that was nuts. The fact that I hit that was nuts. Now technically I just needed to hit a body shot. But... Oh, 
Oh, if I could have gotten an overshield from any of them, I so could have gone through their whole team. But that's why this loadout is so nasty. Because if you can kill the dude, if you can get your lock on the guy who has you marked for vengeance, and just go after that guy every time, and then to constantly be having that damage boost since you'll have vengeance marked after you kill the guy that you have vengeance marked on, then you're basically golden for the entire game. Like, there's no reason... There it is. Oh my gosh, man. That dude must have hit all headshots or something. Because he was flinching me hard. Uh, this is the Spectral Blade. Okay, that wasn't the Spectral Blade, but yeah, the Spectral Blade is this one. Okay, we're good. Now we're gonna I'm gonna have to use my super to get B back, but it's okay. I just got three dudes with that shield throw. That was nasty. I don't know what was worse, the fact that I kept missing those shotgun shots, or the fact that that dude kept running past me. But see, stuff like this is why I normally don't like this map, and the fact that our team is doing it I really don't like because that sort of makes me a hypocrite. But like, you see how you can basically capture two zones, and then do this, just camp their spawn forever and ever and then basically oh I see them over here so then I just run over here oh my gosh man that dude lasered me with the last word <clears throat> but basically this tr this loadout this scum loadout is I wouldn't say an instant win button because you don't instantly win the game by using this but you definitely get a huge advantage because of how easy it is to use and how basically no other loadout can match it because you're basically always going to have first super yeah I had people teabagging me last game when I had this loadout on and to be honest, uh, not last game, but I had people bagging me uh, a few games ago when I was at the top of the team but look 30 2.73 like you can't you can't lie to numbers it's just yeah it's what it is but thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys